Hello everyone. In this short video, I'm just going to say a few words about the difference between this PC and C drive in File Explorer. So if you're getting confused about where to put your files, and if you're wondering what the difference between this PC and local disk C is, I'm just going to say a few words about it, just because people get confused about these two locations. So if you haven't got File Explorer down on your taskbar down the bottom, uh, or if you have it's the yellow folder that's here, or you can go to the search box if you've got one bottom left hand corner and type in file. And then File Explorer will appear. And if you right click onto it, you can pin it to the start or pin it to the taskbar if you haven't already got it there. So click onto File Explorer. And you should see something a bit similar to this. If you don't see this list down the bottom left hand side over here, if you go to view, click on navigation pane and then and then click on navigation pane here put a tick in it and then this will appear down here so this pc and local disk c right the hard drive in your computer is known as the c drive so everything that's on your computer whether it's your documents photographs you got music videos but not only that all of the files that come with windows so all the system files and programs and scripts that windows use to run Windows 10 or 11, it's all in here. So you don't really want to be going in here that much because you could make the operating system unstable if you start adding things to the wrong folders here. So, so what Microsoft have done, uh, they've created a section within File Explorer called This PC, which makes it much easier for you because here the locations that you need, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos, they're all under this PC. They are also on the C drive. All of this under this PC is actually on the C drive. So just remember that C drive has got everything on, including everything that's under this list here under this PC, but it also includes your Windows files. So let's not touch this C drive whatsoever. Okay, you don't need to go into here, stick to this PC. So if you want to save documents, photographs onto your computer, you want to save them under this bit here, this PC. And if it isn't expanded, you can expand it by clicking on this little chevron over here on the left hand side. And as you can see, it's also repeated up here at the top. It's also repeated up here over on the right in the main navigation pane over here as well. But I like to stick to this bit here personally. I suggest that you do the same. So when you're saving a document or a photograph onto your computer, this is where you want to save it under this PC. So click on this PC, documents, pictures, downloads, desktop even. And as you can see, the file path, this is called the file path up here, will tell you exactly where you are on the computer, this PC desktop. So if you're in documents, this is where you want to be, PC documents here, okay? And it's all under this PC. Yes, it's also replicated in the C drive here, but we're gonna leave that alone, okay? So if you wanted to save a document, I'm just going to open up a Word document. Let's just say we've created a document here. And when you click on Save As, this is the location that you want, okay? This PC documents. Yes, you can save it on local disk C down here, but we're gonna avoid that just for simplicity. Keep it under this PC documents or if it's a picture, if it's a photograph under this PC pictures, save your documents or photograph. Okay. And then when you go back to file explorer, leave the local disk C well alone. You're under this PC and then you're under documents, pictures, videos. So just to reiterate, local disk C and this PC are actually the same thing. Microsoft have tried to keep things simple. They've created this PC so that you stick your documents and photographs and other bits and pieces in this section here. Don't get messing around with the files inside C drive here. Keep it simple, guys.